Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 2, the Super Nations mod, the third dev diary, which is focusing on the American Civil War. So quite a bit has been developed since I last uh, did a dev diary video. Um, there is a fourth dev diary that will be coming up relatively soon. I've already pretty much finished all the content for it. Um, and that's going to be focusing a lot about the post-Civil War era. But currently the dev diary 3 will be focusing on the American Civil War. Um, so first off, the American Civil War, as far as represented in the, uh, in, as far as like Vanilla Victoria 2 or just in most mods that I have seen, hasn't really represented the full scale of what happened during the American Civil War. Um, from what I've usually seen is usually you have maybe about 300,000 troops on the Union side as far as brigades, you have 100 brigades or so for the United States. And usually the Confederates have about 50 or so brigades. And that's about it. Um, but in the actual history or real timeline, whatever we want to call it, um, the United States had like about over a million troops, around a million troops during the peak of the Civil War. Um, and the Confederates had around 100,000 or two, two or 300,000 troops. And that's not really represented here. Usually you'll see, like I mentioned before, it's like, Maybe 100,000 troops for the Confederates and like 300,000 for the Americans. And so I went ahead and did a few different um, changes as far as um, modifiers that I added to both countries at the onset of the Civil War that will increase their mobilization size by quite a sizable amount. And so basically, you'll find that the United States can field nearly like 180, 200 more brigades. Um, which it adds basically will have about 800,000 troops to send over to Confederates and the Confederacy will have an additional 60 to 70 brigades and so you'll have a much larger civil war um, and that's not everything uh, if you can see down here there's the Trent affair that will also end up occurring and so it's already represented in the actual um, mod already is I mean Trent affair is already represented it's just not as big or potent as perhaps it was in our timeline. Um, the United States and the United Kingdom um, almost went to war. And of course that can happen already. Um, but in this scale, I made it so that the United States can take advantage of it to declare war on the United Kingdom and invade all of Canada. And so the beginning is kind of similar. There's not really much change as far as the first event goes. Um, but the second event, you'll find that there's a few differences here. And so at the end here, um, you can see that says, the British are demanding an apology from our officials and the immediate release of the diplomats and have been making isolated showings of force along the Canadian border. Um, if this comes to war, then we will have every reason to assume that the northern frontiers shall rightfully belong to the Union. Uh, such, we will push every claim we have in Canada. And so you can either, of course, appease them, apologize, release the envoys, or we can go ahead and say the northern frontier shall be claimed for this outrage. Basically, the United States will get all um, of this, or claims on all of uh, the northern territories, and the United States will have their final event fire, which will basically say that the United States has begun to position troops along the border of our colony in Canada, making it clear that they will not back down. Official delegates from the United States government declared that, they, that what they did was not was not only an act of war against Confederates, but the British diplomats pressed the Trent issue that the Union would consider Britain on the side of the Confederate secessionists secessionist, and react accordingly. It seems that there is no choice now but war. And so, of course, war fires, the United States goes and advances into Canada. Um, so what's kind of cool about this is that just like with the filibuster war, I added an entire new Casas Belli system or Casas Belli, just Casas Belli, um, as well as a custom war to make it a little bit more interesting. And so you have it here. So the Trent Affair, United States Invasion of Canada. And so on the US side, you have the United States of America. They want to conquer Canada and the United Kingdom wants to end the Civil War. And so basically there will now be a massive two front war on the side of the Union. Um, but hopefully at this point, if you're doing a good job and if you're lucky enough, the Trent Affair fires a few months later and you already are pushing pretty hard into the Confederates. And hopefully you already are fully mobilized, otherwise you might find some issues with this. Um, anyways, during the war, the Trent Affair War, you'll find that if you do end up 
conquering and re-annexing um, the Confederacy. Um, this event will fire to Declaration of Union, and this is a completely custom event. No basis towards our storyline. Um, the only basis here is that I did read a book. I forget what it's called. Um, Lincoln sneezed. I think that's what it was called. Um, and basically, Lincoln didn't die. It's like an alternate history novel. Um, and what happens as a result of Lincoln not dying. And in that case, there's a much different type of reconstruction that occurred. And the Confederacy and the um, Union actually re-integrated um, pretty quickly, um, particularly with the militaries. And so in this case, um, with the United States still being at war with the United Kingdom, um, they can go ahead and actually reintegrate the, the Confederacy a lot smoother in this case. And they will gain the service of all of the big shot Confederate generals um, during the Confederate or the American Civil War. They'll also, of course, get Dixie and Texan re-added as accepted cultures. And you'll find that, yeah, they'll, they'll reintegrate and they'll be able to go to war or they'll help you basically have an easier time going to war against Confe or the United Kingdom. Um, but of course, if you end up losing um, the United Kingdom against the United Kingdom, several things will happen. The entire Civil War, if you made any progress, if you had annexed Mexico, if you had already annexed um, the Confederacy, they will be released. Um, and of course, you'll lose the Civil War. You'll also lose a ton of prestige and that all told you that jazz will happen. You might actually drop out of great power status at that point. Um, but if you do win, you welcome Canada and Northern Territories into the Union and you can add Anglo-Canadian and French-Canadian as accepted cultures. Um, that's about it. Of course, that is pretty much the entire portion of the Civil War changes. Um, it will be a lot more intense um, in this version, but there will also be a lot more reward if you actually want to push forward with, you know, kicking down the British at all. Um, of course, the last thing that can happen, is, or last thing that ends up happening, um, after the Civil War concludes is the preparations for a more perfect union. And if any of you are familiar with the direction of this um, mod, this campaign, you'll find that this is one of the first events that will fire that will eventually lead to the formation of the North American Union. Um, so just a bunch of flavor text. It adds Afro-American as an accepted culture, but also adds a country flag for uh, the more perfect union that will end up leading to a lot more events of firing. Um, you'll find that if you have any vassals or spherelings in Central America, Southern Mexico, like I did in my little test run campaign, I had to release Chiapas and I had to release Oaxaca um, because I was over the infamy limit and of course there was a clinic war on me. And so if you do release those satellite nations down there, they will then apply for statehood again. And so that's pretty much it on this end. Um, that is all for Death Diary 3. Death Diary 4 will of course look at a lot of the post war era. There will be a lot more flavor events going on and I think that will be a lot more interesting as well. So anyways, thank you all for watching and I will uh, see you guys next time. Bye. As always, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you like to see more content just like this and more frequent uploads. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time.